Are you looking to maximize the functionality of your office or just looking for some really good design office ideas? Well, watch this video because I have some great tips on how to create a beautiful yet functioning office using IKEA pieces. It's Janie from Savvy for Life. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm an interior designer and this channel is all about sharing my tips and tricks on how to create a beautiful home and live your savviest life. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my office design that I created using IKEA pieces. Now for my office, I've actually shared this space with my kids. This is a dual functioning room. I, um, it is their playroom as well as my office. So I'm going to talk through what I did to create this design and the pieces that I use and how you can duplicate this at home just using IKEA pieces. So because this is a dual functioning space and I have to share it with my kids um, as their playroom and my office, uh, the first priority was to maximize storage. And you know, I always say as a designer, declutter, declutter, declutter whenever you can. So I didn't want to have the toys lying around and all their arts and crafts materials sitting around. It really uh, doesn't create a very nice space. So storage was my first thing. And what I did was I went to the IKEA pack system and their pack system is their closet system. Um, this one I got, this one here is a, a pack system and I got one that was 93 inches high, um, 28 inches wide, and 23 inches deep. Now they come in different sizes, so this is where you can modify the, this design to even a shorter or a more shallower design. It all depends on what space you're working with. For this room, I actually have about 13 feet of linear wall, so I know that's quite very big, but you can change this around and make it shorter and thinner and try to accommodate your space. So with this, what I love about it is that it, it has adjustable shelves. So I'm able to keep their store, uh, toys neatly stored away in these boxes. These are also from Ikea, um, as well as keep it out of sight. And these adjust, adjust, ugh, <laughs> adjustable shelves, that's a tongue twister. Um, these you can buy as many as you want or as least as you want. So if you want something to be able to hold like, like shorter items, maybe you can stick another shelf in here and that way you can really maximize the space that's in here. Think of it as having like building a closet in the middle of your space. I really love the pack system. Um, and I, what I did was we mounted it and anchored it to the wall for safety. So that's really important, make sure whatever you're doing, that you do mount it properly and that you do mount it using the right materials. Um, that is a very important uh, tip. I will say that our ceiling height is 96 inches and with this cabinet piece, uh, it's being 93 and I think a quarter or an eighth inch tall, we needed a 96 inch clearance because of when you're building it on the floor and you have to raise it up to the wall, you need to consider the diagonal length of this cabinet. And that diagonal length, they, they said it was 96 inches, but for some reason, I don't know if our ceilings are sloped or they're just not perfectly straight, but we actually had a really hard time um, trying to fit this up right. So we did scrape a bit of the ceiling and uh, my husband did put like a, piece of cloth or a box something underneath to make the slide a little smoother. So remember to measure the space, the height, and to remember to always consider the diagonal length of the box because once you build it lying down, you really need to have the height to be able to raise it up. And then next I went into the BESTA system. The BESTA system is in the entertainment section of IKEA. And if you go there, you'll see that um, they have these uh, modular boxes. And what I love about BESTA is that it, you can get really creative coming up with different designs for your entertainment system. But what I wanted was an upper cabinet system without having to go and buy upper cabinets. 
So I went and got the uh, double width uh, Besta, which is the 47 and a half inch wide um, and 25 inch uh, high cabinet. So I went and got this and then I stacked it with the 15 inch high cabinet on top. So total I'm getting a 40 inch upper cabinet that's being mounted on the wall uh, and 47 and a half inches wide this way. And it's really important again, safety first guys, I can't emphasize that you really have to make sure you do the mounting properly and you mount it on the studs to make sure it's secure. But having that stack system, I'm able to create a really tall and wide upper cabinet that's not too super expensive. And another really good bonus for the Vesta system is that the, they have these holes on the side so you're able to put in a shelf and then adjust it to certain heights to fit whatever your needs are. So that is a really good bonus. Um, also with this, I have the soft closing hinges. So basically when the doors, they, they close really nice, which is cool. And then I also put in the push to open uh, system, which is great because for this particular design, I didn't want to use any um, knobs or handles. I really wanted that clean, modern, minimalist look. So without having to put in handles, I'm able to use uh, those push button um, system. And so another reason why I chose the Vesta on this side of the office is because I wanted to have an upper and lower uh, cabinet system with an open space right here. Um, also with this Vesta, I took the 47 inch cabinet and I have it mounted on the wall, freeing up the space below. Um, it's not being, um, it doesn't have legs on it, which is great because I feel like when something is mounted on the wall, it actually makes the space feel bigger and wider. And so what I have for these drawers, I did drawers on the lower system. Um, and that's a really good thing about Vesta is that Vesta allows you to either do doors or drawers. So I put drawers on the lowers. And with this, I also have like that push system and sort of like that soft close where I can just push it in. I don't need knobs or handles to work with the drawers. And that's what I love about the Vesta. Um, and then to complete the look all together, I did go with the frosted glass cover and you can get this also at Ikea. It just hides the, any scenes that you may have and it just gives it a nice complete look and a finish to the whole design. And so to make everything cohesive and blend in and work together and make it not look like it's an Ikea system, what I had was a cabinet maker come in and do these custom door fronts and it's a lot cheaper to do it that way than have a whole cabinet guy build out this system for you. So you get the boxes from Ikea um, and you just get them to make cabinet custom doors for the front. And what I chose was a white oak. I love the look of white oak. I feel it's really natural and um, I love the grain of it and the look of it and the color. So I had him do two doors on the pack system over here. I had him do um, two solid doors on the Vesta on the uppers, and then on the lowers for the drawers, I actually had them just do the drawer fronts for the lowers of the double drawers. This one is actually part of the Vesta system. I wanted to keep it just to give it some distinction and a little bit of um, design detail. So I love the white gloss of this finish, but to tie it all in, you know, you get a cabinet maker to make these custom doors and you will never know that this system was created using Ikea. And for my actual desk section, I really wanted an L-shaped desk because I had an L-shaped desk previously and I found that it was really functional, but I couldn't find one that was going to work with the IKEA system and look good. So what I ended up doing was going to the dining room section and in the dining room section, I found this dining table. It was only like $100 at the time of filming this uh, video. It's called the Vangsta dining table. And what I love about this dining table is that it's an expandable dining table. So when it's um, not expanded, it comes out to like 47 inches uh, wide, but when it's expanded, it, it stretches all the way out to like 70 inches, 
which is fantastic. And the best part is that it's 29 and a half inches deep. And for me, I really wanted a deep desk because I'm when I'm working, I like to have a lot of uh, surface area and a lot of the desks normally are shallower than 29 and a half inches. So for me, this was the perfect solution and it was white and it has a laminated top, which is extremely durable and easy to clean and it works beautifully with the rest of the uh, design. And to give it the l shape functionality, what I went to, the uh, desk section, I found this modular system. It's uh, the Linmon tabletop. Um, this is uh, made of a similar material as a Vangsta. It looks almost very similar, so you can't really tell. And it comes with a modular leg, which is the Olaf leg. And the leg uh, goes to different heights, which is perfect, because I'm able to put the leg at a height where I can just slide this table underneath my Vangsta dining table. So when I'm not using it, most of the time it's closed in like this, but when I do need that extra work surface and I do want that L shape, I'm able to slide this out all the way up here and I'm able to get a really large L shape work surface um, that gives me a lot of space. And the best thing is that when I'm here and I'm working and my kids want to work with me, they're able to sit on the other side of this table and they're able to share the desk with me. So the fact that I'm able to pull this L shape in and out is great for small spaces and it duels as an extra work surface for my kids as well when they're here. So when you're designing the functionality of an office, really consider the vertical space. Vertical space is just as important as surface space. This space here, you really obviously want a large um, surface area to be able to do work, but consider all the space up here. So what I have is the LAC shelf. This is a IKEA floating shelf system. This is fantastic because it's obviously in white, so it matches the design. I'm able to put some artwork and some inspirational quotes that I love. Um, I'm very inspired by reading this every day, so this is something that's really important to me and I'm able to store some boxes for additional storage if I need to. Um, next is I have this magnetic board. This magnetic board is also from Ikea and what I love about it is that it's really, really cool and I'm able to put all my stuff, important documents and such as my, like, I have a, a goal for my 2018 goals here in red so whenever I'm sitting down I'm able to look at it and it's able to remind me of all the goals I have for this year. And then next is this uh, IKEA pegboard system. I think it's called the Scatus. It's great because I'm able to use this um, space, a vertical space. I have um, this system here where I have all the important mail. This goes right here so I'm able to look at it right away. Also, I'm able to store smaller um, items such as my paper clips and my thumbtacks and things that I can see clearly, which is visually great. And then I found some S clips just lying around my house and I was just able to put those in there and you can hang things such as your keys or anything else that you want. Um, so that pegboard system is really great for a lot of different functionalities. And for like a modular corkboard idea, I found these trivets at Ikea. These come in a pack of three. And what I did was I had these little painted um, patterns on them and fun colors using just excess paint that I have. Um, it gives it like a really abstract modern design. And what I love about the trivets are that it's a cork that's really thick. So I'm able to use a push pin really easily onto these without having to go into the wall. If you wanna know how to make these cork boards, I actually have a video on that and I'm gonna link that video below in the description. So go ahead and watch that video as well. Um, this is also a picture of uh, Mount Cook in New Zealand and as you guys know, I love to travel. I've traveled all over the world and uh, New Zealand was home for me for a little bit. I love this place and you know, back then when I was traveling, this is actually a picture I took just using a point and shoot camera. I didn't edit this at all and that is how beautiful Mount Cook really is. And if you guys haven't been to New Zealand, 
I highly recommend that you go because it is such a fantastic and beautiful place. So guys, I hope I've inspired you to rethink your office design or to look into IKEA and go to all different departments. You don't have to just go into the uh, office and desk section. I source from the closet to the entertainment to the dining and kitchen and bathroom areas. So really think outside the box and make a beautiful design that works functionally best for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. And if you like this, please, if you haven't subscribed already, please smash that subscribe button so you can continue to be notified for any new videos that I create. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. And until next time, stay savvy.